Hello, I'm Ed, and welcome to another episode of Bill. We're picking up where we left off from last week's video of my first drive at Blyton Park, and things are about to get a bit messy. So the afternoon was progressing at pace. I was in, out of the pits. I was doing solo drives. I was doing drives where I had driver coaches in the passenger seat with me, giving me advice and pushing me even further. Talking through data, talking through details on suspension, technical elements of the car, improving every lap and having a thoroughly good time. So let's talk a little bit about the track that we're on today. The track actually started life as an RAF base in 1942, with three concrete runways and a number of large hangars and bomb stores. But since 2011, Ginetta have turned Blyton Park into a track day venue, the one and a half mile circuit, with a variety of different wide and tight corners, ample tarmac runoff, and as few solid barriers as possible making a track like this absolutely perfect for me as a rookie to have my first test drive. To give you a better idea, here's one full lap of me driving the car. Coming onto the track out of the pits, uniquely to Blyton Park, there is a traffic light system which is massively handy. Green light means go. So we're off down one of the main straights, heading towards a corner called Jochen. It's a fast-paced left-hander into the ump, which is a quick left-right-handed chicane in the middle of the corner. As you head out of the ump, you've got a fast-paced, hard-accelerating zone through Lancaster all the way down the main back straight. This is probably one of the highest speed elements of the circuit. Hard on the brakes, into the hard left-right chicane at the wiggler. As you carry on down the back straight, you're getting yourself prepped and ready for a hard braking zone into Bishop's left-hander. Down from fifth to third gear, touching the apex on the left, bringing the car wide over the yellows. Then again, hard on the brakes, back down to third for Bunga Bunga left, heading towards the very fast, open Port Freud. This element of the track is one of the fastest and windiest parts of the track. Really good fun when you get it right. After Port Freud, we've got another braking zone which brings you back round to the right-hand side at Usher's, heading back towards the pit entry, turning left to head back out onto the track through Twickers and back out onto the main straight. And that's a lap of Blyton Park's outer circuit. One of the final sessions of the day, I asked Max to jump back in the car with me. I was keen to show him what I'd learned in my first day in the car. I wanted to impress him, and I was desperately pushing as hard as I could. Until you guessed it, the inevitable happened. So if you couldn't see what's happened, I hit a bale of hay travelling at some serious speed. My driving coach Max told me to pull into the pits and he did say, I'm not gonna lie, that's not gonna look pretty. I was gutted. I had damaged the car on my first day. But until I got out, I was thinking it was going to be much worse than it actually ended up being. Um, 
one of the last sessions of the day uh, was things were going very, very well. I was working well with Max. Um, he was in the passenger seat with me. Um, we had a bit of an upsy and uh, at one of the fastest bits on the circuit, I've ended up clipping a bale on one of the apexes and it's not made it look pretty at all. Um, good news is I'm hearing that it's relatively superficial stuff. Hopefully it's nothing, uh, nothing too major and we can uh, get it repaired for the next time we're out at Silverstone. The one, th the one good thing to take away from today, I suppose, I started on one, I, I was starting on laps at 112.8, 112, 112.9, ended up today, we were on about sort of one, what was the best one we did, Max? Uh, 109.7. 109.7, so we managed to shave a few seconds off today, uh, really, really pushing it towards the end of the day now, and the result. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Knowing the limits is part of the game, I suppose. <laughs> what a fantastic day this was turning out to be. But with the sun setting, the day was coming to an end. Back in the pits, there was a tangible sense of excitement for the GT Academy season that lay ahead. And I took the opportunity to chat to some of the people who I would no doubt be getting to know much better over the upcoming season. The GTA is a unique concept for us. It's a way for us to bring people in from, from track days or people who are just enthusiasts and offer them a very friendly, controlled environment to start racing. Uh, which championships do you do? Which car do you buy? And very confusing on where you start. So the idea is same car for everybody, same setup, um, same team around them. So it's all about the driving. And that's what we've been doing today. So we've had the guys out for the first time in their brand new cars, some of them. So first of all, we have to shake it down, get the guys settled into the seats, belts, everything correct. Go through the controls, all you know, first day of school stuff. Um, but then straight away, we, we're seeing the competitive spirits come out and it's all about lap times, data, brake pressures, steering angle all that music to my ears. So it's been great meeting the, the drivers for this year. Um, some, some great talent actually, it's definitely some people that, have, that are naturals or have done a lot more than they're telling us. But the, uh, it, it, it's great to see, to see them pushing and wanting more and more. So my, my job will be to develop them throughout the year. Um, not only at the race weekends, but we do extra training outside of that here at Blyton, our test facility and up and down the country. And um, I'm excited to see how everybody gets on this year. So the rookie racers this year are fully supported by Janetta, the Janetta Group, which is Want to Race, uh, Blyton Park, Janetta and Simtrack. So we look after everything from driver development, simulator sessions, the car here at Blyton Park, and then on a race weekend. So um, our rookies uh, get well looked after on a Friday on the test day. Um, on the Saturday then they have a qualifying and one race and then two races on a Sunday. So lots and lots of, uh, of track action, which is exciting. Um, from a setup point of view, we take everything the, the guys need. So the co driver coaches, full hospitality, set up in a race awning, nice environment for them to uh, go through data and, and relax. And that's, that's the weekend. So it's five, uh, uh, a series with five rounds and four are on British GT. One round is on the touring car package. Um, yeah, and we're, we're, we're welcoming guys like Ed who are first time racers and it's just the, your perfect way to start uh, motorsport, the, the motorsport journey with Janetta. Wrapping up today, been an absolutely eye-opening day. Um, it's been thoroughly enjoyable. I am so glad that I've started this journey into racing uh, with the guys at Janetta. All the guys in the team have been absolutely fantastic. The support today uh, that we've had, um, all us rookie drivers have been absolutely um, thoroughly enjoyable. And, and I was, you know, I didn't really understand exactly how it was gonna work, but now that I've experienced it for the first time, it's absolutely amazing. The track um, was uh, tighter, um, harder, more exciting than I thought, but it was very forgiving. I've had a couple of spins. bit of a bang so um, it's been some highs and lows but overall it's just been an absolutely amazing day I'm super excited for the next few weeks that are coming up uh, we've got Silverstone coming soon I've got more time back in the sim um, and I literally cannot wait to get back on track as soon as we can So 
that was my first day driving my very own Ginetta G56 GTA race car. I could not have enjoyed myself anymore. Even the spins and the knocks and the bangs and the, the errors and the mistakes, they were not enough to put me off. It's fair to say I am absolutely hooked. And I truly cannot wait to get in the car again at the next few testing days at Silverstone. I really hope that you've enjoyed the video as much as we have enjoyed making it. If you have, please do give us a like and make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified of new videos when they're coming up. For now, from me and all the team at Bilk, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.